What's going on everyone, my name's Tenebris Infinite, and today I have a fun one for you dudes. An idea I've been cooking up since the first Resistance pack from a few months back. An idea for a second Resistance pack that focuses on the more high-tech capabilities of the Resistance. A high-power pack that offers just totally radical options for the sandbox gameplay of GZ. As this year is drawing to an end, I want to load the team up with a bunch of ideas for DLC and updates next year. So this month we're going to have at least two more videos focusing on things that I think would be awesome to see in 2023. And we're starting kinda early here for a reason too. Just so I could get all of your dudes ideas here as well in one place. So if there's an idea you have for future resistance weapons or packs, or maybe changes to the ideas I have, please post them all in the comments down below. Or if you just want to support the idea here, consider leaving a thumbs up on the video. But that's enough rambling, let's get to these ideas here. This idea is simple. These will be the Guns of the Resistance Weapon Pack, featuring a bunch of high-tech, high-power weaponry built by Veronica herself. Pushed to extremes in the chaos of the ongoing machine invasion, she designed three guns for the Resistance to use alongside the previously engineered weapons from before. The Resistance would now have six weapons, a flamethrower, a pitchfork, and a bow for new members of the Resistance, plus a railgun, a bolt gun, and a high-powered explosive minigun for seasoned veterans of bringing death to the machines. I feel like lore-wise, this could all make sense, and as Generation Zero becomes more and more high-tech in the enemies we face, I feel like our weaponry can evolve and uh, take on a more high-tech appearance to match. So let's start with the spicy one that might take the most explaining of all the guns. The Railgun. And you might be thinking, Tenebris, are you hanging out with Hippie Gnome again? We already have a Railgun, and a dang good one with the experimental PVG. And you're totally right, but that's not the type of Railgun I'm thinking here. Instead, this would be a single-shot, high-power and penetration weapon, similar to the PVG, but instead would be a breech-loaded piece of sharpened rebar fired from a gun that uses the technology of the PVG, but instead kinda blends it with the bow in terms of being a more uncanny weapon. This whole idea actually comes from a CG anime movie called Blame. I'll just use a few short clips here to avoid any copyright, but I highly advise giving it a watch. The electro fishers and technology in that movie is really dope. The harpoon gun they use is a rail gun of sorts, and it's just a really cool concept. This could serve as a slower experimental PVG with a neat boxy design, and could maybe use a few different options for AP and component damage. The rebar rounds for AP as a thicker chunk of steel, it'd be for smashing armor, but still offer high component damage, kinda like the PVG in general. Then javelins because we're still teenagers so what better use for the local school's sports equipment than repurposed weaponry the javelins could offer the highest component damage in the game but offer pretty much zero armor damage similar to the bow but far stronger overall and offering that sweet sweet pen damage that the experimental pvg has along the way High power and high tech. Let's get another railgun in the game for us to use. It'd be sick and would be a huge expansion to how the resistance could fight the machines in the future. Next up, a bolt gun. And by bolt, I mean freaking lightning bolt. The best example I have for this is probably a combination of the lightning gun and Just Cause 4 and the experimental KVM just essentially replacing the bullets with an initial arc of electricity. This could be a high fire rate, low damage weapon with a bonus EMP effect that comes at the cost of shocking the ever-loving life out of the user. A double-edged sword, but one that would be so cool to use it wouldn't matter the cost of medkits, because you'd be out there like the second coming of Thor if you mixed it up with other shock-based and EMP-based weapons. Lightning at our fingertips would be so cool, and would open up new room for machines to then adapt to our technology, 
a fun reversal of roles in a small way here in the world of GZ, since normally we're trying to match Phoenix. Risk reward for cool points, and hey, who knows? Maybe you could get lucky and EMP a ton of machines in a row from your connected arcs. It'd be a really high-tech weapon, but not any more high-tech than the functionality of our experimental weapons, and could even look like a rugged version of the lightning gun in Just Cause 4 as a small homage to the Just Cause franchise. This would be the one weak weapon from this pack, as more of a joke sci-fi gun, but still, those cool points would be absolutely totally worth it. And the last weapon of the proposed pack here, an explosive minigun ripped right off of a wolf and slapped together with a bit of resistance tech. This would be the minigun of our dreams, my dudes. Utilizing a combination of the fire burbs, howitzer rounds, it would bring full auto fire and destruction to everything in our path. The moment I saw the wolves minigun back in January, I've wanted it pretty much ever since. But the problem's always been, how would our character carry the minigun? And even though Far Cry's minigun is a good example of what firing it could be like, it's not the design I'd go for in GZ. Instead, I'd strip it down to the most bare bones, light frame minigun possible. The motor idea is fun, but that adds so much weight it'd be totally unbelievable. Shrinking the overall size of the minigun with short barrels would be a huge step to making it usable while standing. The second part would be to keep the handle of it even lighter. Maybe a chainsaw handle would work, or a modified jackhammer handle. If it were like a sawn-off minigun, that would maybe bring it all down to scale that would be believable, but also a ton of fun to use. The community's wanted a minigun since time immemorial at this point, and I say, why the heck not? It all just amounts to another fun option we could mix into our moment-to-moment -moment gameplay, and being the most viable way of us actually getting a minigun in the game. Using end-game factors like the wolves, ammunition factors like the fire burbs, and then compressing it all down to a gun that could be at least perceived as a weapon that these teens could use. And heck, if it gave a huge movement penalty, then that would balance it maybe a bit better. You could apply the same penalty to the flamethrower too, to kind of synergize the two weapons. Personally, I think a weapon pack that aims for high tech and high power would be some of the most fun weapons we've gotten so far. A breech-loaded ballistic railgun, a literal lightning gun, and then a minigun that I think would be pretty hard to pass up, especially in multiplayer scenarios. This pack would also add just a bit of lore to the Resistance and further distinguish them as a unique faction, not just in GZ, but in video games as a whole. So, I want to know, what's your thoughts? If you've shared some already, you're a freaking legend, but folks, I want to say thank you for watching, hopefully you've enjoyed my ideas here, but for now, I will catch you all in the next one. Until then, peace.